Okay, ladies and gentlemen, especially my students, today we will have to learn another test for GRS, Givens, Ross and Schenken 1989 test in STATA. Uh, as uh, we have a previous test, uh, which was no doubt having some question in the mind of students. Uh, this new method or you can say different method will solve these problems with these issues which you have in your mind first of all you will have to install the model uh, called GRS test 2 SSC install GRS test 2 okay before that, you must have uh, that specific required data, uh, data relevant with the portfolio's returns from portfolio 1 to portfolio 25, for instance. Uh, I have 25. It's not uh, compulsory, but optional. Uh, risk premium or factors are also there, like market size, value, profitability investments, etc. Then you must have uh, that model requirement is also there. If, for example, for instance, you are going to use the single factor model, so you have a market return minus risk free rate. If you are using a Power French three factor model, so you have the market return, size, premium, as well as value PIM, and so on. So uh, let's let me start properly in this data first of all let me show you uh, my research data which i'm using okay this is uh, the relevant data uh, first of all i have monthly data from 1993 up to 2019 december that's monthly data uh, then i have t bells rate ex uh, risk free rate is also there index is also there return market return is also available uh, that these are the factors like uh, market premium size premium value premium profitability and investments and so on okay uh, let me first uh, install this uh, ssc install grs test 2 first you will have to install that actually I already installed that's why I'm not going to reinstall it if you want to uh, reinstall just write replace okay uh, let's come on first of all what actually required is first you will have to mention GRS test 2 these are the portfolios portfolios I just uh, I have made portfolios based on size and book to market so I have 25 portfolio that's why from 1 to 25 let me show you this data as well uh, look at this at the top it's mentioned like for instance uh, portfolio 1 portfolio 2 portfolio 3 and so on I have uh, 25 portfolios okay so first you will have to mention the returns maybe uh, a firm's return individual firms you just mentioned individual firms if you want to mention the portfolios uh, so the combination of portfolios here and then f list factor list for instance i'm going to use this uh, capital asset pricing model capm and i need this alpha so i'm going to mention that that's a simple command i'm going to apply it will give you the detail but the most important thing in, in overall is the mean absolute alpha that is the important thing which we are going to take a decision based on that absolute while look at this it, it shows negative value but we need this absolute value of alpha based on which we will take decisions like uh, the model requirement is if you just study the relevant paper of GRS 
so it mentioned that you will have to focus on absolute alpha which must be equal to zero and that is the decision making criteria so in the second for instance we are going to use a three factor model so look at this the same thing formula is not being changed but only factors are edit this this is size this is value again i'm going to just enter it will gives you another mean absolute alpha value and so on for instance you're going to use uh, from a french five factor model so you will have to use the same just you just uh, change these two factors uh, in the formula nothing is different from the previous okay so that's again you are going to receive that value mean absolute alpha now look at this just uh, we want to read this uh, in these instructions okay the results results interpretations are like for instance we say we are going to focus on mean absolute alpha which must be or should be closer to zero the better it would be if it is close to zero so look at this the result the result shows that the cap m mean absolute alpha is 0 0.125 while fama french three factor model mean absolute alpha is 0 0.124 which is better as compared to cap m on the other side fama french five factor model shows that mean absolute alpha is 0 0.0122 Zero, 0 means it is more closer than the form of French three factor model as well as cap M. So here we can conclude that form of French five factor model produce better results based on mean absolute alpha which is closer to the zero and that was a simple I hope uh, you like this if you like uh, please subscribe for more videos thank you so much best of luck bye